Hi, I'm Chrystia Cabral, and I teach first grade in San Diego, California. And I can't wait to tell you all about a new classroom favorite, my very favorite book in the whole wide world. I think the first time when I read it, the kids love the book because they love the idea of the story. There's a lot of connection with, man, I have a hard time finding a book to read. Um, but then when they saw him read it and Malcolm Mitchell discusses parts of the story and hearing it from the actual author, I think just impacted my students immensely. But once we were done reading the story, they all wanted to write books. One of the reasons I love this book is because what Malcolm Mitchell does in Henley's story is exactly what I do with kids in my classroom. We take three or four pieces of paper and staple them together like a book and they're blank with nothing in them. And I ask the kids, if there's not a story you want to read, write your own story. You know, what would your story be like? And from there, a lot of kids start to build that confidence because they're writing. And then when they're sharing, they're reading exactly what they wrote. And they start to realize they know a lot more words than they thought they did. Um, but then they also know a lot more topics than they thought they did, because with that blank slate, you kind of start to come up with things that you want to read and things that you want to write about. Another teachable moment that we got from using this book was the connection that we noticed between Malcolm Mitchell's story and the illustrations that were done by Michael Robertson. Um, we really paid close attention to how Michael Robertson's work connected to Malcolm Mitchell's words and how they were able to work together to collaborate to make a beautiful story. A couple of things that my students are taking away after reading this story is the idea that you can write your own story. Um, another one that they're taking away is the idea of perseverance. I feel like Henley's story is all about fighting the good fight for the good reason. Um, reading is not something that is simple to everyone. And having that connection with Henley, who struggled with finding that book to read, is something I think my kids will remember for the whole school year.